We're on the air. Good afternoon, Immaculate Conception. I'd like to welcome everyone back on this lovely Wednesday, November 18th. Uh, as the sun gets a little warmer here this next two days, great chance for you to go outside and get some fresh air from all that hard work you've been doing. And of course, there's Mrs. Bono here. Yeah. Hey, this morning I was uh, visiting with the seventh graders and Mrs. Pender. They had a great morning meeting and they were talking about what inspires them. And several of us talked about the little bit of warmer weather, the bright sunshine we were having. I'm thinking it might have clouded over a little bit, but it's still warm, so it feels really good. Yeah, we had a little bit of winter. Now we can go back to our fall, I hope. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, I'm sorry. The ice is, yeah, we kind of missed out on fall. Yes. Um, what I like to do, though, is if we can, is we go for uh, our Girls and Boys Town skill this week, and that's making an apology. So if you have to make an apology, uh, you look at the person, uh, you use a serious, sincere voice, say, I'm sorry for, and then I want to apologize. So you say what you want to apologize. Here's the big one. Don't make excuses. Just make a good apology. Explain how you plan to do better in the future and say thanks for listening. So that's the good one is uh, make sure you just say, I want to apologize and tell exactly what you did wrong and then how can you correct it? So that's a good skill to have, uh, making an apology. Right, and then if you are receiving that apology, what we do, we talk with the kids about listening carefully and also saying, you know, I accept your apology. And we always say to the kids, don't say, oh, that's okay, because no, it's not okay. We need to we need to make sure that the person understands that yeah, your feelings may have been hurt. So, but accepting the apology and moving on that's that's key to forgiveness, right? Having mercy. Sounds good. I've got a birthday to celebrate today. Wow. Having a, yep. In fourth grade, having a birthday today. I think it's fourth grade. John Zaruma. Is that he's right? In, fourth grade. He's in fifth grade. Hey, hey, I oh, John, that's I'm one of my thinking. Of, I know he's in fifth. <laughs> that's right, John's in fifth grade. So, Mr. So John, happy birthday. custodian just walked by. Hi, Doug. <laughs> okay, so let's come back to this birthday. We'll chart this one again. Take two. Happy birthday, John Zaruma. Hopefully, you had a good birthday today. Hopefully, it's going to be a great one. Maybe a little cake and ice cream tonight. So, Ooh. happy birthday, John. Um, as John Z, because I forgot there's two Johns in fifth grade. So. Right, right. And when I was on the seventh grade morning meeting, um, two of their moms are having birthdays today, and I'm trying my best to remember. For sure, it was Mrs. Travis, so happy birthday to her. And I'm thinking Mrs. Heineke is also her birthday. So I'm sorry if I missed the wrong person, but happy birthday to some of the moms out there, too. Yeah, November 18th. I got a couple jokes for you, Mrs. Bona. Yeah, and you know I'm so good at those. Go ahead. Well, this one you might get. Why do all why do hamburgers always lose the race? Why do hamburgers always lose the race? Something about a bun. It, it, they can never catch up. Oh. They can never catch up. That's good. I like that. Thank you. That's yeah. a great thing. I like that one. I got one more, a little another one. Um, what did peanut butter say to the bread? I got a couple, you could go with a couple of these ones. Quit loafing around. <laughs> well, that's clever. I would have I was going to just say, I, I got you covered, maybe. That was another <laughs> I, one. I was thinking about something like that, but it, it you know, I, my brain just does, I just receive and laugh at the jokes. I don't come yeah, up so with the jokes. Remember that, the peanut butter, I, I quit loafing around, but I, I almost kind of like, oh. I got you covered. I like that. Quit loafing around. I like that. That's good. Very funny, Mr. Coulard. Hey, All Mr. Right. Coulard, are the kids supposed to guess where you're sitting today? Well, yes, they are. In fact, yesterday, that's a good one. Yesterday, hopefully they figured out I was in the AR room. Mm -hmm. And that was the um, twister board behind me yes, was. that was there in the third floor up in the AR room. Yeah. So, today, it, it should be pretty obvious, hopefully. Yeah, it is obvious, and we have our wonderful theme behind you with Super Joy. Super Joy just, um, he, he's having a hard, he's not coming out of wherever he's been hiding lately, so we have to get Super Joy. I think you have to be watching more of the Fayette videos to catch him. Oh. I've seen him three times now. 
Oh, so, oh. Well, wait a minute. I don't want to say anything, but oh, no. I've seen them. <laughs> okay, I'm caught. I did bad. Sorry. Actually, I watched the whole first one, and I, ha and I watched part of the second one, and then I have not caught up. So I'm sorry. Here's one of our other wonderful custodians walking by me. He has his mask on, and I don't. So sorry, Jose. Well, okay. <laughs> So tell him to stay away, stay away. He's doing great. Um, actually, there's Sleeping a third one. down all the surfaces like he does every day, three to four times a day. Awesome, man. Yes. Gracias. Um, so so where, where am I sitting? We've got, we've got three videos out for Fayed, so I think they're, they're good times. Hopefully give you some ideas. So um, hopefully uh, you could watch those and you, you never know what might show up in those videos. I think you'll like them. Okay. So yesterday well, I was in the AR room. Where are you today, Mrs. Bona? Well, I am on the first level and I'm right down the hall from Miss Kinzer, Kinzergarten's room. We love the kindergartners. We love our little preschoolers. So this preschool, you know, they always do a letter of the week. And I have been walking by this one for the last two weeks. And I thought, P for palm. T for tree, and I, it, it should, it should have come to me, but I had to go ask Miss Kuka. I go, which, which, which is it, P or T? And she said, I, for island. I was like, oh, that is so clever. So the palm tree on the desert island. There's a little, um, little crab or lobster crawling in there. So those kindergartners did a beautiful job of that. And right now the preschool teachers are pre-filming all of their lessons and they're working on their classrooms and coming up with new things for the kids to do once we return. And then Miss Kinzergarten, Miss Kinzer, is right down the hall uh, taping her lessons and talking with the kids on a regular basis. And she's got a great little artwork there of the, the scarecrow pumpkin patch outside her her room. So lots of great things, lots of beauty in our hallways. It's just such a joy. And Mr. Coulard, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of the students because we are wrapping up our trimester. Um, if you're one of the littler kids, this doesn't apply to you as much, but as you get older in the grades, you have to get your grade, your, all your scores in and things by a certain time so that the teachers can grade them and have them ready to go. Since we do not have school next week, and we, um, the teachers are collecting things throughout this week and by the end of the day on Friday. Now, every teacher is giving that expectation, so know what you, each teacher expects. Also, I want to remind everyone that Mr. Sauter, besides Mr. Coulard doing the awesome Fayette videos, I haven't watched all of them, but um, Mr. Sauter's doing, he did, uh, taped lessons for every single grade. Please, kids, you're expected to watch those and learn those songs because God willing, we are coming back and we're gonna, practice, we're gonna perform those songs on video and post them for your parents and relatives. So a lot of exciting things, but you can't learn the song if you don't watch the tape. So Mr. Sauter went to a lot of trouble on that and you also have to get a grade in music, biad, and computer. So, Pay attention to what Mrs. Blake, Mr. Coulard, and Mr. Sauter have ready for you. Um, also, just a note about staying safe as we approach the Thanksgiving week, um, that this is a time to really spend time with your families. Uh, we, if people are traveling, they need to take an extra two weeks to quarantine before they come back to school. So we're expecting parents to make all those phone calls to the office if a child is sick, Parents, if you're listening to this video as well, we hope you are, um, you need to call the school office to report any absence. So we're totally informed of what's going on. And then we can support you the best way possible by being there for you on the distance learning. Um, and even if the kids are, um, kids are back in school, you know, the option to do distance learning can still be there for a family if they have traveled or gotten themselves into a larger gathering. So. There you go. We're here to help. I'm All right. I guess I'm ready for the Pledge of Allegiance if you I, are. I am too. I talked a lot. Thanks for listening, everyone. It was a little bit of a comedy of errors getting started. Well, anyways, we're going to move on to the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and so if everyone could join us. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Um, we'd like to uh, say our prayer. As you can see, I'm right here. I have the lovely Mary montage of all these different lovely pictures up here. And we're gonna be saying the glory be, and we'd also like to pray for a priest. Um, today is Father Roger Carroll. Father Roger Carroll. If we can keep him in our prayers, he's one of the Archdiocese priests and always Father James. Um, so if you can join Lord, I'm, I'm sorry. also ask for a special intention. Uh, we did receive news that um, a wonderful uh, Mason family, the Kayla Mason in sixth grade, her uh, grandmother just recently passed away. And we'd like to keep that entire family in our prayers and may she rest in peace. So thank you. All right, you ready? In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. So hopefully there, everyone keeps up now with their schoolwork. And remember, keep your prayer life going in this time, especially at home. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I hope so. That's have fine. a great day. All right. Thanks, everyone. And, and what do we say now, Mr. Cullard? Go. All right. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. See ya. All right. Yep. See you later, Raider fans. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you.